Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm going to try something a bit different today and record a haul, so I'm going to share some of the crafty Christmas bits that I got, and also some of the bits I bought from Aliexpress a few months ago, which you might have seen me use in a few videos, but I've been meaning to share it so I thought I would show it now with some of the lovely bits I got on Christmas Day. So I've known about Aliexpress for some time, but um, it wasn't until I started watching my friend Ali's videos, which I'll link in the description below, that sort of enabled me and I started looking at all the craft stuff on there. I've made another order recently which should come in the next few months, which I'm excited to share, which are more scrapbooking bits. Um, but these bits that I'm sharing today are stickers and journaling bits. So first up is this little set. I think I had other bits in, but I'm not sure where they've gone. Um, it's mostly like notepads and it also came with these really cute tiny washies. You can get this in different colours as well, I just chose the neutral option. So you can get these little um, calendar sheets. This is obviously for 2020 so I can't use it but these ones are undated and it's just a nice neutral background which you can tear up and use in your journals. So I think it was this one that I used in one of my Japan journal spreads or one of my journal spreads which I did lately. And then these are the washi tapes. Uh, this one says time, plan and then these cute little circles. Just this one which is different shades of the brown neutral colours. This one I think is a... Oh, it's another circle pattern, just all lined up. And then this one is like a mini tape measure. So again, some more papery bits. They're quite thin, so I probably just use these for journaling layers. But you get quite a few of them. And it came in this cute little pouch as well, which I've been holding some other bits which I got from the same haul. So yeah, I've, been, I've popped these in that little pouch because it keeps it all together. These were a lot smaller than I expected them to be. I thought they would be more like A5, A6 size, but they are tiny. They're really cute though. I really like the vintage aesthetic and these are perfect for that. You could get these in different um, designs. So I just got the two, the kind of blue green color and then this again, neutral creamy color. And they'll just be really nice in my art journal. I also got these two books full of advertising ephemera. I really like the way these are displayed, but when you open it up it's just full of really nice old-fashioned graphics really. Um, they're all perforated so you can easily tear them out. They're just really cute and I, again I'm going to use these as layering pieces in my journal. And I might even just use them as like full sheets, but it's really cool that you can tear them up and use them smaller. Uh, some of them have got the text cut off, but I don't think it matters too much. I'm just, I've always really liked vintage advertising. Um, so this was definitely one that I really wanted to get. And then this one, which I saw originally on Pear Fleur's channel, and she did a painting based on one of these illustrations and I did the same so I'll pop that on screen now which is somewhere in here it's a bit too small really for a reference so it's more of just a base for the layout um, and you don't have to rely too much on the actual graphic but again I thought these would be nice to pop in my journal and also to use in my sketchbook now onto the stickers so these are like little sticker flakes, which I first came across when I went to Japan. And they're just really thin, tiny little stickers, which you can just peel off. Uh, whole wheat bread, if you need a sticker for that. Some of the bits on AliExpress are a bit random and sometimes their English isn't perfect. Uh, so you just got to be careful, but for the price, I think that's, you can't expect too much. I know that you have to be quite careful with AliExpress sometimes because they can rip off smaller designers, so 
just bear that in mind when you are browsing but for general crafty bits I find them really cheap um, but they do take a while to come because they are coming from China and then these are so cute these are pink little pigs and bunnies I've been hoarding these I haven't wanted to use them really cute I'm just a sucker for stickers. I barely ever use them. I've got a whole stash of them in my craft room. I really should start using them more. But I think I'll put these on like probably journaling pages or maybe even scrapbook layouts because I really want them to be like shown off. These I used on a layout lately which was a Japan spread which I'll pop on the cards if you haven't seen that yet. But this just really reminded me of the stationery I saw when we went to Japan earlier this year or last year depending when I get this up but we went in February 2020 just before they started closing and lockdown happened so this is like a Japanese drink called Pakari Sweat which obviously doesn't sound very nice but it was very tasty um, and yeah just really cute I love the aesthetic of these this is one that I used in the Japan journal spread and you get two of each. They're really nice quality, really thick these ones and I like that they all come with the sticky peel off so you can easily just st stick them into the journal. And they're good sizes too, not too tiny. Bit of Comic Sans, always good. Yeah they're a bit random but I just really like these designs and I'll probably look at getting some more of these when I do my next AliExpress order. This is the last bit I've got to show you, which I got from AliExpress. But these are some little individual mushroom stickers, which again I'll use in my journal or my planner. I'm not too precious about these ones. Uh, they're slightly glossy, um, but they feel a lot thinner than the other ones. And they'll just be really cute for either a woodland theme or just a, a nature spread. And I really like those too. And they came in this tiny little box to keep them all in one place. So that was my AliExpress haul. Um, and then these next bits are what I got for Christmas. So I didn't get a huge amount of crafty bits for Christmas, but I did get this from my sister, which has been on my wish list for a while. It's a We Are Memory Keepers Trim and School Board. I really like this because it folds out bigger. So it folds out for 12 by 12 use. So you can easily fit a whole 12 by 12 paper on there. And then these lines can be used for um, scoring because there's slight indentations there and then obviously a trimmer which I've had a tiny, you might have seen in my other videos I have a tiny little guillotine so it's quite nice to have a bigger one now. And then this was a box I got from my friend Summer for Christmas and it's probably one of the most thoughtful gifts I've ever gotten. It's really lovely so I'm going to start unpacking it and show you what I got. But she's been collecting some journal supplies for me over the past few months and it's exactly what I would have picked out for myself so I'm so grateful for Summer for sending me these and thinking of me. She also wraps it beautifully in this lovely patterned paper which I'm keeping again for my journals because I keep basically everything that I get in the post. So in this little pouch I got lots of beautiful ephemera bits which you know I love collecting and using in my journal just a really lovely selection of stamps and little bits of I think they're trading cards uh, playing cards this is similar to the um, little mushroom set that I got from AliExpress I'm not sure where she got these from but this is full of lovely stamps and I can't wait to use these in my journal. It's really inspired me to get my journal out again. So that that's full of stamps. And then this one's a similar thing. And this is full of little flowers. Again, they're like sticker flakes, so they, they've got adhesive on the back if you peel off the layer. These are some of the gorgeous papers. These are mixed media, so they have a painty texture. Really nice matte paper as well, so when I stick these in my journal, everything will nicely stick on top of it. And just a huge selection of it, of pattern papers here, and vintage papers from books. Exactly the kind of thing I use in my journal. 
and loads of lovely texture and colours as well. Next in the box were these books. If you've seen my reference video where I talk about using references in art, you'll have seen that I use books like these for my art references and these are just beautiful. Really nice old vintage books which have lovely full colour pictures in which will be great for referencing for my illustrations and just a really nice set and they're not too big or chunky either so they'll be easy to store and I love those. I also got a couple of washi tapes which I use all the time. I've only recently finished like my first roll which shows you just how many I've got in my collection but these are really pretty patterns. I love this plain grid one and this gorgeous lemon print. So in the bottom of the box was this collection of paper ephemera bits. I love that it's all like real life vintage papers. So it's not like just photocopies, these are actually from some of these books and collections and it's full of bits of paper and stamps and old fashioned bits, lace, just really lovely layering bits. It has that really nice tactile feel to it, which will just be really nice in my journal. I'll just go through some of these. They're really nice sizes as well actually, so I won't have to just cut them all down, but I love bits like this. This is from 1964-1965, so it's just a really lovely look in the past and I've always been fascinated by bits like this. When I was younger I used to go to car boots with my dad and I always loved looking at these sort of books. It's nice in a set like this because it's not just from one book, it's from a range of different places and it will work really well for my journal. So that was everything that I wanted to show you today. I hope you liked watching my haul and if you did like it then let me know and I might do some more in the future and that will be a good excuse to do some more shopping online anyway. Um, I'm really excited to get going in my journal now I've got these new supplies so thank you again Summer and I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next week. See you later.